Hello, are you having issues with Genshin not showing up in Streamlabs or OBS? If that's the case, then I'm here to help. My name is Mops, and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to fix Genshin not showing up in Streamlabs or OBS or any other recording software or streaming software that has similar framework to those two. So to quickly go over what the issue in, in question is, uh, for some reason Genshin does not like game capture in Streamlabs OBS or in standard OBS as it seems. So to replicate this, I have a game capture already made here, and I will make it visible real quick. Go to properties. As you can see here, it is set to automatic, and yet it has not found a game for some reason. If we, I can actually move this up. There you go. You can actually see it. Um, but if we set specific window, and as you can see, it's already selected Gen uh, Genshin Impact. You can see that it appears completely black, uh, and nothing appears in the place of where a game should be. So clearly, game capture isn't working. So we're going to delete the game capture, because it doesn't work, and instead we're going to add a window capture. Actually no, we're not going to add a window capture, let me correct myself. We're going to open up Genshin. So. In order for window capture to actually pick up Genshin, which is what we're going to use to get around this issue, you need to actually have Genshin in windowed mode prior to actually making a window capture. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Genshin open like we do here, press Alt Enter, and the game will go into windowed mode. So now the game is in windowed mode, we can go back to Streamlabs and make a window capture. Make a new source and we will select Genshin Impact. If you did not switch Genshin into windowed mode prior to making this window capture, Genshin would not appear even if the game was put into window capture after the fact. So make sure to do that to Genshin first, then make this window capture, and then select it. So we're going to select Genshin Impact, and as you can see the game comes up, we're going to just make it small so that I can continue to show you what it is that I want to show you. And once you have done this, you can then go and open up Genshin again, press Alt-Enter again, and there you go. The game is now still there, and you can make it full screen, do whatever you want. Uh, there is one thing to note, though. As you can see, uh, I do have the... Um, the menu open, and on this menu, uh, Paimon would be floating around right now, but she is not, and that is because the game is frozen, or technically it's frozen. Uh, basically, whenever you alt-tab out of the game, once it is put into full screen mode, the game will freeze on the last frame that was open when you had it open, you know, on your actual screen. Uh, while it is minimized in this case, uh, it will show just the last frame, and it won't resume actually re showing, you know, movement until you reopen the tab or reopen the game. So that is one thing to note. Um, I will just open up the game. Actually, hold on. Let me just close my display capture so you can actually just see the game. Let me fit the screen here. There you go. As you can see, as you can see, the game is recording fine. There's no issues. However, when I Alt-Tab, the game freezes on the last frame that was visible. So I'm just going to switch back to the display capture, and there you go. That is how you fix Genshin not showing up in Streamlabs. You just have to make a window capture and use that instead.